All right, guys, so today I have my boy Adam here. We're doing a burst fade. Burst fade essentially is it's all right here by the ear. We're also gonna be doing back. We're not going to point it out at all. We're just gonna round it out and leave it natural. The top, we're, we're just gonna texturize it step by step on how to do a burst fade. All right, so first things first, put the hair. Gotta make sure everything's nice and saturated because we're definitely gonna be getting into uh, all these sections. I'm gonna do a three guard around this area. Three is um, a good length for anything, for any for any base in general. I'm not gonna take it to the back just because that would defeat the whole burst fade perfect. We're gonna take it about, about two fingers, two fingers width. I wanna keep the bulk as much as possible. The bulk isn't necessarily a bad thing if you do it right. Yeah, the base done, now we're gonna move over to, over to clip over comb. All we wanna do is just blend it in. Get your comb and do a, a comb over check. See all that right there? That that needs to be uh, blended in. So we're gonna go in, anchor, and cut. Go in, anchor, cut. Same thing with the with this right here. Go in, anchor, and cut. Clip over comb essentially is the same thing as doing scissors. You really have to know what, where you're cutting and how you're cutting. Cut. I'm gonna do my first guideline, line, which is right here above the ear, and not all the way back to the nape. It's gonna be right above the ear. This is also my soft trimmer as well. As you notice, I'm not really pressing in hard. I'm just trying my best to stay in between the lines. Now moving on to our next guideline, line, which is our half. I'm gonna go with the clipper all the way open, a finger width cut all the way around to where I did that first guideline. line. So pull the ear down. Moving on to our next guy line, it's gonna be with our one, our one guard, finger width, circle motion. You don't wanna dig in too much, that way we keep that as dark as possible. So, same thing, finger width. Now to blend in between the, the half and the one, we're going with our with our half guard all the way close. I'm just gonna use the corners only wherever I see that line to blend in those two together. This step right here, you wanna be as patient as possible because you can definitely take the fit up higher if you're too rushed. I'm gonna move on to a C cups. You wanna start from the top and meet it all the way to the end. Only. I'm going in with my masters and I'm gonna go in and start blending upwards. Never all the way close. Now I'm doing some lever play. Essentially what that is, is I'm, I'm just chucking up on the lever as I go higher. All right guys, so essentially this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna move back to the nape area. Pretty much gonna follow his natural um, hair patterns in the back. He wants to do a design, so we're gonna give him a uh, an actual unique one. Start off with using the corners only. A lot of the times what happens with designs is that you get too over over the top with it and then you kind of lose your spot. So now that the design's done and moving on to the top, he wants some length taken off, but he also wants to keep most of it as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add texture instead. So we're gonna come here all the way forward, make sure everything's nice and sectioned out. Start off on the mohawk area. So the, which is pretty much the middle is the mohawk area that when you kind of do section by section. So let's say for example, we'll do, so zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four and zone five, and then zone six and seven. We're gonna grab zone one. adding texture we're not going to really take off any length but essentially what point cutting is is we're doing the same thing at, at the same time if you're taking big enough cuts i'm grabbing zone seven same thing and essentially do the exact same thing to the other side i feel like when we're cutting we overcomplicate things and we try to be like somebody else but in reality you can't be nobody else but yourself. Also, he doesn't want to line up straight across. Uh, leave it natural. All right, guys. So essentially, this is what first faux hawk would look like. Except we don't. We didn't keep the, the pointed edge up in the end. We kept it natural. No lineup. All texture. Kept the beard nice and sharp. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to let me know what I can show for the next one. Peace out.